In this video, I will show you how to fix if your laptop is not connecting to Wi-Fi. It should be a quick and easy tutorial to follow, but before we do continue, please consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Now, there's a couple of fixes we're going to try to get your laptop connected to Wi-Fi. First, what you're going to do from your desktop is if you come down to your search box in your taskbar at the bottom, in here, type device manager and then underneath best match open up your device manager now once this has opened through what you want to do is look for network adapters you can see that's just down here and then click the small arrow next to network adapters what you then want to do is find your wireless network adapter so this is going to have the word wi-fi in it as you can see mine is the killer wi-fi 6 Yours might be something different, but it's going to be the one that says Wi-Fi. Once you've located it, click to highlight. Then what you want to do is right click onto this and then click onto disable device. Go ahead and click yes on the window that pops up and that should disable your wireless network adapter. As you can see, I'm no longer connected to Wi-Fi. Now, once you've done that, just right click on it again and click onto enable device. And it's just gonna take a minute or two to reboot and enable the device. Once that's done, what you want to do is come and right click again onto this and click onto update driver. On this window that pops up, click onto search automatically for drivers. And you can see if the best drivers are already installed or if there's any updates available, in which case install the updates, restart your computer and see if that fixes the problem. So if that didn't work for you, the next thing you can try is from your desktop, if you come and click onto your Windows start icon just down here in the search box at the top type services and then open up services underneath best match now once your services window is open it's going to look like this what you want to do is come down to w this is in alphabetical order so just scroll down the page until you see w and then what you want to do is come down and look for something called wlan auto config so you can see that's just down here once you found this double click to open it up and from here, you want to change the startup type to automatic. It might say manual or disabled. If it's not saying automatic, then change it to automatic. Click apply and OK. What you then want to do is double click again onto this. And if the service status is shown as stopped, click start to start running the service. So that the service status is shown as running. Once you've done that again, click apply and OK. Finally, what you want to do is right click onto this. And on this menu, come and click on to refresh to refresh the service. Once that's done, close the services window down and see if you can now connect to Wi-Fi. What you can do next, if that's still not working for you, is come back down to your Windows start icon, give that a click and open up your settings. Again, if you don't see your settings in your pinned apps, use the search box at the top, type settings, and then open up settings underneath best match. Now, once you've opened up your settings, what you want to do is come over to the menu on the left hand side and click onto network and internet. Then from here, you want to look for advanced settings and in advanced network settings, come and click onto network reset just down here. And what you can do is click the reset now button and click yes on this window that pops up to reset your network settings. After doing this, make sure to restart your PC and that should fix the problem and allow your laptop to connect to Wi-Fi. Now, the final fix, if that didn't work for you, is to come and click onto your start icon again. This time you want to type run into the box at the top and then open up run underneath best match. Now, into the run box, you want to type the following, which is msconfig, one word, just like this, and then click OK. Once the window loads up like this, that says system configuration, what you want to do is come up and click onto the services tab at the top. And once you've done that, come and click onto enable all and then click apply and okay. After doing this, again, restart your PC and that should now hopefully fix your problem and allow your laptop to connect to Wi-Fi. Let me know in the comments down below if this did work for you and which method worked. And if this did help you out, then I would really appreciate it if you was to consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just wanna take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.